Today I'm going to show you an advanced paintball script created by this person. It's a great way for players in your server to engage in friendly competition and have fun. NAS Paintball is optimized and easily configurable. It also has support for multiple inventory and target systems. It features free-for-all or team game modes with up to 8 teams where the lives, timer, and weapon use can all be changed live, displaying on all player screens. Some of my favorite features are the custom paintball weapon and sound it comes with, and the option to choose between 4 different maps to play on. Players also have the option to place wagers, create private lobbies, and spectate the game. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out all the features and buy the resource. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're there, find the paintball script. And once you click on it, you'll see a list of the features and dependencies, which are ESX or Cubicore and NAS Lib, which is included with the script. It's also on sale right now for $27.99. So then add it to your cart. Then it'll have you log in with Discord. So go ahead and authorize that. Then click continue. Go to your cart and check out. Proceed to checkout. You can also redeem a coupon or gift card. They do have a 15% off opportunity right now. So go ahead and proceed to checkout. Then enter all the information and confirm the payment. After you've purchased it, go to your key master and sign in. Then go over to your granted assets. Once you're there, download NAS Paintball and NASLib. And once they're done, open them up and open your server resources. So go ahead and drag this one over first. Then go to NASLib and drag that one over as well. After you've done that, go to your server CFG and ensure both of them. Since NASLib is a dependency, make sure you start that one first. And after you've ensured them, hit File and Save. The next thing we'll look at is the config for NASLib. So go back to your resources and find NASLib. And open the config.lua. There's one option in here to use cash as an item. If you aren't using aux inventory, change it to false because it can conflict with the paintball settings that check for cash when creating or joining the lobby. So I'll change this to false. Then hit file and save. We'll then move on to the config for the paintball script. So go back, open NAS paintball, and open the config.lua. The first thing in here are the supported languages and the debug. As stated in the commented out text, both English and Spanish are supported. Next are the default settings which show when players initially enter the menu to create a lobby. This can all be changed in game so they can set up the match to their liking. The next option is the setup location where they interact with the pet and begin creating the lobby. Then there's an option to check the player's cash amount when creating or joining the lobby and the account the wager amount comes out of. You can set it to come out of their cash or their bank account. The next option is for the name used, while it's set to true, player's character name will be used. That's followed by the option for players to have infinite stamina, which is recommended due to there being larger maps. Those are followed by the option to have a respawn timer after player's death, and how long the respawn timer is. There's also an option for spawn protection, with a timer that sets how long it lasts, and the option for players to display transparent to indicate they have spawn protection. Lastly, there's an option for player's health to reset after they get a kill. As stated in the commented out text, leave these two sections alone, then we'll move on to the target options. You can enable or disable the target. The supported target systems are listed in the commented out text. If you disable the target, text will be displayed instead. You can change the distance and icon, which by default shows the gun. To change the label, go to the locale.lua in the resource folder. For the chords and heading, you can change that in this config file at line 18. Next are the settings for the blip display. You can enable or disable it. The chords are determined by the setup location in this file, and the label can be changed in the locale.lua, which can be found in the resource folder again. The sprite is the icon that displays on the map, and the scale is how large it is. I'll leave a link in the description to the site for blips if you wish to change it. 
The next option is for the PED. You can enable or disable it as well as change the model. The next section is for the teams. There are eight teams in total. This section allows you to change the clothing for male and female of each team. The commented out text explains what piece of clothing the numbers are associated with. The next section is for the maps. There are four maps in total. You have the spawn points and the option for animations, which is another cool feature. You have the opening animation for when the match starts and an animation for the winning team. The next section is for the weapons. Players have a wide variety of options if they don't want to use the custom paintball gun. If you don't want a certain weapon to be used, remove it from this list. The next option is for the time limits in the drop down menu when players are creating the lobby. They can create matches that last for 3, 5, 10 minutes, and so on based on this list. Then you have the option for the amount of lives players have. Again, they can have 1, 3, 5, and so on based on this list. Next is the option for people to spectate. You can enable or disable it. The controls are for spectators to use to cancel and switch between players. There's a link in the commented out text if you want to change the keys. The next section is for the animations. And the last section in here is the option to force revive. As stated in the commented out text, enable it if you're having issues with spawning dead back at the setup. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out One of One Servers. One of One Servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network, unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. Their servers guarantee smooth gaming experiences with powerful hardware, lightning fast NVMe SSD storage, and high speed internet. The servers are available to you after payment and you can get started with the setup immediately. They also offer 24 7 customer support so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. All right, so I'm at the paintball place now. I'll go ahead and create a lobby. And once you go to create it, this menu will come up. You can cycle through the maps. I'll choose rest. Then you can cycle through the game mode. So it's on free for all now. We can switch to teams. And you can have up to eight teams. I'm gonna leave it as two. And you can also change the weapon that's used. I'll leave it at the paintball gun. This is the wager amount. It's set to 500 by default. I'm just going to put it at zero. Then you can change the amount of lives the players have. I'm going to leave it at three. Then you can change the time limit. So I'll put it to 15. Then you have the option to allow spectating and to make the lobby private and setting the password. So I'll go ahead and create the lobby. And I'm on the red team. I'll wait for him to join. All right, so he's in the lobby now. Go ahead and start the game. So you have the intro animation and the player lives for each team displayed in the top left. Here's what the gun sounds like. You also have the match timer displayed at the top of the screen. Alright, so he killed me and I respawned. As you can see, I am transparent, which is the spawn protection. And the timer ran out, so I'm back to being killable. So go ahead and keep moving around and wait for him to pop up again. So I won. Here's the winning animation. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. This is a really cool script and it was so much fun to do this. Thank you for watching.